right? So finishing up this problem, we already did the law of cosines to find out that 95.1 is angle B. Remember, I do tell you to go for the biggest angle when you have this setup of three sides. And then once we get to law sines, because we have our, our pair now, and obviously our pair here is 95.1 as far as the degrees is concerned and 15 as far as the side is concerned. And if you are going to go for the smallest angle, is it going to be angle A or angle C? Angle A, because it's got 8 across from it. Again, you're probably going to be all right on this one because of how I had you start. You're probably going to end up getting the same answer anyways, or at least really, really close. And so if you have this setup, we're going to take 8 times that. And it's going to equal 15 times that. And I want you to start looking ahead. What are the chances I'm going to have to use arc sine on this problem? Yeah, pretty good. Because i got to get sine away from that angle. Is that something I should do right now? No, let's get the 15 out of there first. Okay, so those cancel. And so, again, we have what? we got 8 sine of 95.1 over 15. Is that going to give me the answer or is that going to give me some decimal? That's going to give me a decimal. That's going to give me kind of the ratio of those sides. And then I'm going to use arc sine to find out the actual angle. So let's go ahead and see what that thing comes out to be. So we got 8 sine of 95.1. Don't forget to close off those parentheses on that one right there. Divided by 15. All right, again, we're expecting a decimal here. Oh, there you go. That's believable. And that's what sine of, which one are we going for? A? That's what sine of A equals. So we're going to take the arc sine of that to get sine away from it. And there's, again, you bring up the answer. Remember, that's the easiest way to do that, so you don't have to write down that big, long decimal. Is this going to be more than 95 or less? What are we anticipating here? A lot less, right? And let's face it, if it was more than 95, we're already over 180 degrees, so we no longer have a triangle on this. And so we get 32.1. Believable? Yeah, I'd say that's well within the range of believing. And so 32.1. So that's going to go up here. Now the very interesting thing about this particular problem is even if you went for C, and this doesn't always happen, even if you went for C first, the rounding actually comes out the same. That's not always going to happen. Sometimes if you were to go to law of sines to get C, you would have got a different answer. But in this case, you actually get the same thing. But basically, let's just go with 180 being total, and now we can get angle C by just figuring that out. And well, I'm guessing it's going to be a 0.8. And 52. Okay. And again, the funny thing is, is even if you did angle C first, I think that's exactly what you get, this 52.8. Okay. Again, that won't always happen. So the key is, is if you don't have a pair, get one. And unfortunately, that normally means law of cosines first. Okay. On your assignment for today, there's no guarantee that they're all going to be like this. There's some of them, I'm just tell you right now, that the first thing, you're, you're just going to go right to law of sines. You don't have to do law of cosines at all. Then there's some that are going to be like yesterday's, where you don't have to do all this work. You can type it kind of straight in. And then, of course, I'm going to give you a couple like this. Okay? Your job is to know the difference, because that's important, too. Okay? Any questions?